Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro. I'm Derek, and today I wanted to show you just a little setup that makes it really easy to run a GoCo Pro in a retail environment. Um, what we've got here is a wee image, and we print them out as usual. And you can look at some of our other um, images or our other uh, videos to show how we do it. Um, the screen comes out of here in a minute and a half, and you can probably see the image on here. Um, and we just then stretch them into these frames. And again, you're going a couple of minutes, and you've got it into a frame. So we've already done that, and we've just set it up onto a mini desktop printer. Um, and this desktop printer is great for printing t-shirts, uh, posters, hoodies, sweatshirts, oh, so, hoodies, sweatshirts, any, any garment, coats, jackets, it doesn't really matter, it'll do any of these. But I'll also do some artwork onto paper, uh, canvas shopper bags, and what we wanted to do was just show that. I have a little bit of adhesive down onto here. We're just going to use a little red ink. This is a water-based ink that we're using here today. That will need to be cured. The inks will dry in the air, but they need to be cured. Otherwise, you can use plastisol inks. Uh, they all work totally fine. Uh, once you've made a screen with your traditional screen printing method, or this one, the inks are the same. The screen printing process is exactly the same. With our screens, it tends to be one pass, just nice and easy, pull across the screen, and we end up with our nice uh, t-shirt fully printed. Yeah, so we now have this t-shirt, and what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to, oh, this will remain wet, we're actually going to heat press it, and that will cure the ink. And while we're doing that, we're just going to lay down a piece of uh, paper. Uh, we've looped, this paper is the exact size of our press, so it sits down quite nice. And if you've got a customer who has a nice uh, design that they've done, and they maybe want to uh, use that design to sell their product um, at a craft fair or a show or whatever, um, they can print t-shirts. They can also print uh, paper, um, and they can print many, many other things too. What I'm going to do just now is I'm just going to take this out and turn it round the other way so that we can print off a canvas shopper. And it just shows the variety of items that can be done with this handy little press. Um, if you want to print bigger and, and other items, you would need a bigger press. But for in a retail environment or as a very simple uh, production uh, situation, you can uh, run these quite nicely. So I'm multitasking here today, and there we have our uh, finished t shirt, all nice and done. I was going to lay it on that white one, we'll just dump it there, and then we do our shopper bag. And we lay it down. So it shows that from one design, one piece of image that your customer has given you, um, you can print many different products for them. And if they were a crafter and they've created this artwork, they can then use that to go to different shows, uh, to sell it in different ways because it's their own. So here's our shopper bag. I'm a little bit light with my ink here, so I could probably top up a little bit more, but. Um, same story, we just stick it in here and keep press it and the job's done. So it, it's really a versatile, easy little system, um, very good for printing different products. And we've only shown a couple of things today, but school bags, uh, gym bags, trousers, jackets, you name it, it doesn't really matter. Once we've got our screen, we can print onto anything. To be honest, we can lift this screen off and put it on the wall and print on the wall if we wanted. Uh, so there's another one. So now we're getting into a little bit of production and we're able to make our products. So the GoCo Pro makes this really easy. As I say, you can create your screens in a minute and a half. You're ready to print in another minute. You've started producing products and you can do it for your customers if they want to watch uh, dead easy. Or alternatively, put it in the back store and, and produce it like magic. The other good thing about this, and I'll hold up one of these little images to you again. In here, you get 
in amongst the detail you get all this half tone and all that detail so you get a high detailed screen um, in a minute and a half with no mess no chemicals no nasty solvents all good stuff thanks very much for watching cheers Hi. We're back again um, and what we've done is we've just changed our frame and we've added into this little um, press a hoodie. Uh, so same story, we've, we've changed our design and our image but we've just added in a nice little hoodie. In fact I was going to hit it twice but I'm not going to bother. Um, so this is our little horsey design, ideal for all the equestrians that come into our shops and ask us for details but again you can see the detail in there there's a lovely half tone that we've done um, of this design and again we'll just stick that into the uh, heat press I'm working in a very tight space as you can imagine here just to show you this item this is just going to go into our heat press and we'll cure that but the next thing I wanted to show you was like a, a, this box um, so the idea behind this is uh, and get it far enough down, might not manage it. Um, with a GoCo Pro or with any screen printing, you can print onto absolutely anything. So if you've got somebody, a nice um, re-crafty person that wants their products made and produced, sweatshirts and the likes, we can then use the exact same design just to print onto the top of their cardboard box so that they can now send out their product clearly I have marked that up doing it nice and quickly but you can see we could raise this up a little bit and you end up with your design on the box so you can put your hoodie, your t-shirt into a nice little gift box and send it out so you're not constrained by what you print with a, a screen screen printing can go on to anything and with this versatile system and the great design you can get you can really build a range with these products uh, we might come back with some others. I'm going to do a left press t-shirt, but we have to switch things about a little bit, so we'll be back in a second. So you're back again and we've switched things around, and what we've done is we've added a polo shirt onto our um, process, and we're just going to print a small left press pocket. You need quite a bit of pressure when you're getting this through, and we're just giving it two layers, um, but this allows us to print polo shirts and to add them right into the top left. Graham will take that off for us so we can see where it's gone. But there you have a wonderful uh, Southfield logo on the left breast of a polo shirt. Cheers. Thanks Graham.